I'm Colin Harmon live at Phoenix Raceway on day one of NASCAR Championship Weekend. In a male-dominated sport, one female driver is lapping the competition when it comes to flattening stereotypes and inspiring the next generation. ABC 15's Cameron Pullum introduces us to the first female Arab NASCAR driver. Tony Breidinger's need for speed sparked at an early age. Just nine years old when she began racing go-karts, now 22 racing stock cars for a living. You know, at Daytona Talladega, you're going 200 miles per hour, inches away from the wall, inches away from a car next to you, inches away from a car in front of you. It's a thrill you can't get anywhere else, one that's helped her recently make history in an already extraordinary rise. In February, Tony became the first Arab American woman to compete in a NASCAR sanctioned event when she took the green flag at the Arca Menard Series race at Daytona. When I found out that I got that title, my first reaction was honestly disappointed. You know, NASCAR has been around for so long. The fact that nobody else was able to come up before me was really disappointing. Now using her massive social media following for good, furthering the conversation of diversity by motivating others to blow past walls no one thought possible. You know, I always say the track is a no gender, the car is a no gender. As soon as that helmet comes on, I'm a driver just like everyone else. Climbing the ranks of NASCAR won't be easy, but Tony hopes for a banner year in her career, inspiring others and sticking it to the doubters one lap at a time. Even outside of racing, if you're doing something that you feel like traditionally isn't what somebody that looks like you does, still go out there and do it. Like be the first one to break that barrier. I'm Cameron Poldum, ABC 15, Arizona.